Hello Pisceans and welcome to your December 2021 general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share because that helps us grow the channel. Before we go into the, um, <clears throat> the reading, let me just tell you that the, the reading is slightly or loosely divided into three areas. Namely, we will be looking at the overall energy for the uh, month ahead. Before we will then move in the area into the area of emotions, which could be um, trauma that needs to go, whatever you need to look at, or maybe the guides will talk to you about love. Before we then go into the final area of the reading, which is opportunities. So we will be looking at opportunities that are coming in for you. Mostly this will be about whatever it is <clears throat> that sustains you financially, so you get an idea of how to treat things in that area. But before we do any of this, it is important, because this is our December reading, to realize that there is a massive energetically energetical change or massive energy change happening um, that changes quite a lot for us Pisceans, because I'm a Piscean too. And that change is the fact that Jupiter, <clears throat> the planet Jupiter, um, will actually enter the star sign of Pisces on December the 28th and then it will stay there until May the 10th. It will then go into Aries but it will retrograde back into us in uh, late October 2022 and then stay with us until mid-December of 2022. The reason why this is important is because Jupiter is the month of ambition and determination and that means that when you are, or if should you be one of those Pisceans, you know, that um, does daydreaming for a living, <laughs> which means <clears throat> you are not the most, um, hmm, the most outgoing of Pisceans, the most, yeah, I'm a doer <clears throat> kind of thing. What will happen is that this energy will push you to pressure through areas that need to be looked at. So there's a bit of a, of a of an urgency, <clears throat> excuse me, of an urgency to Jupiter being in our, our star sign for that long. And the other thing about Jupiter is that um, the area of your body, because it is also imprinted on us physically, <clears throat> that responds massively to its presence are the bones and the teeth. So therefore, 2022, as it were, because it's coming in on the 28th of um December might just be the time where your teeth are acting up, your bones are aching. That's all just energy, which also means if there is an existing condition <clears throat> um, in these areas, um, they normally flare up. And the reason why things flare up is not for Jupiter or the universe to say like, okay, we want you to, be, to, to feel shit. No, it's because it says like, well, we're highlighting this, so you go there. And as usual, um, obviously, there is your imprints when it comes to, you know, how, how the um, stars affect you based on their planetary movement when you were born. But there's also physical imprints of all star signs and all planets <clears throat> that can be found in our hand. And your Jupiter finger is your index finger. And I've been doing stuff like this for quite some time and I find it quite um, soothing. Um, because you can literally use the area where they're imprinted as a pressure point. Since, since Jupiter is going to be with us for quite some time, if you ever feel it's a bit much, just use the finger as a pressure point, your index finger, and see, you know, nobody will even, even notice, but if you manipulate the energy of the finger, um, you might therefore get a little bit of a boost from the energy or of the energy of Jupiter. The other important thing about Jupiter, and I kid you not, unfortunately, <laughs> is that Jupiter is about two and a half times the mass of all planets put together, right? So it is therefore a strong indicator, because Jupiter is a planet that actually expands. Um, so we may all have some problems with our metabolism next year in the sense that um, because it is an expanding planet and the energy is quite massive, we may be prone to um, um, 
weight gain. So the idea is always to prepare before a planet like Jupiter, which is one of the outer planets, <clears throat> um, moves into us, uh, into our star sign for a long time. Be prepared. Just, you know, maybe, maybe now is the time to make changes about looking at your food. I will do, certainly do that because <clears throat> I have a very sweet tooth and I just love anything sweet, which is um, not so helpful. Hey, Molly. Which is not so helpful when you when you when you um, uh, already have a have a, um, a condition like I have. I'm a type one diabetic. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what I do on my end. Please, please, please research this if you if you like. Um, but literally, because this planet will be in your own house, in, sorry, in your own own energy, in your own um, um, in your star sign or in our star sign, <coughs> it will affect us, right? So please don't underestimate this. Anyway, this is Molly. Hey Molly, say hello. Very sweetie. Isn't she cute? Anyway, um, that is just um, something I wanted to say before we actually start the reading. So let's, oops, excuse me. let's start the reading now and I spare you looking at her bum for longer. Let's start the reading uh, or, 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 the, or the card part of the reading right now. So, let's have a look <clears throat> at the overall energy for the month of December. Let's see what we got. For Pisceans. Here we go. That already looks great. Because we have the Falcon, the Shaman in the middle. Remember the one in the middle is the most important because it is surrounded by the other two. Sorry. Um, and then we have the woodpecker. So, how this works is, this is the overall energy for the month of December 2021, and we have the falcon as the incoming energy. We have the shaman in the middle, the woodpecker as the outgoing energy. What the falcon is literally telling us is to realize in December that any argument that this month may bring us is futile to um, even literally be competitive about, because the falcon is basically telling you, you know, I can see my food from a mile away. I am an apex predator, right, sort of to stay with the shamanic language, so to speak. I don't need your small quarrels. I don't need your low energy. So, that does not mean we shouldn't look at any issues that, that, that present themselves to us. <coughs> or maybe there's something that needs to be cleared, by all means. But the Falcon is telling you, if this goes into an area where the other person or the other situation just wants to rant and uh, express their frustration, don't hang around uh, for other people's frustration because that's not your energy, you do not have to take it. Right? We have the Shaman in the middle. now. These are all animal deities, animal guides, and this is a shamanic reading. So the shaman, this being Native American slash shamanic reading, I always say slash because there are 36 different types of um, shamanism. So the Native American is, 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 is only one, <coughs> if that makes sense. <coughs> but having the shaman in the middle literally is a way for the universe to say, you are surrounded by the most powerful energies you could possibly be surrounded with. So, okay, that's the way I get it. Act accordingly, act accordingly, right? Don't sell yourself short, don't treat yourself like an afterthought because that's what, that's what invites other people to treat you like that. Don't do that. The shaman is saying to you, be in your strengths, right? Be the powerful, strong person you are and don't be, as is another important thing here, apparently, don't be apologetic for being awesome. Don't be apologetic for um, having this energy like, yeah, I can do anything. Because it, it rubs people the other way, or the wrong way. Um, sometimes when they're in your energy and you are always confident. <laughs> so, that obviously does not mean that, that Pisceans are always confident. What they're saying is the more confident you are, the more things will come your way that are ultimately for you. But it starts with you. And what the universe is saying to you is, we are here for you. So you can be absolutely um, 
uh, um, confident, right? <clears throat> because the outgoing energy is the woodpecker, just like the kingfisher and the hummingbird. The woodpecker is in this this trinity of of um, energies that tell you no matter how difficult or how crooked your tree is, and the the the, the, the tree represents your life you will be more than capable of dealing with whatever is coming to you. So the overall energy for the month of December um, is promising. So I like that. Okie dokie. That was the overall energy for the month of December. This is your December 2021 general reading for Pisceans. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Yonak. Please like, subscribe and share um, to help me grow the channel. And now we will be looking at your emotional core. Could be um, trauma that still needs to go, could also be love. We'll see. But now we're looking at your emotions. Here we go. So, just to say that it's the very first time <coughs> that I record with this overhead setup thing. And so I have another vlog vlogging camera, so to speak, that I'm using for the first time. Um, I already had problems with it when I put uh, uh, microphones in it. It didn't quite record, so I don't know what the issue is. So I'm recording with the inbuilt microphone, and I have no idea how it sounds. Uh, for the sake of all of us, I hope it sounds good. Here's what we have got with, our, uh, with regards to our emotions for the month of December. You have the jaguar, the kid fox in the middle, remember the most important, and the sparrow hawk is the outgoing energy. Here's what that really means. With regards to um, anything that has to do with emotions, we're still going through it. We haven't stopped grieving. We haven't really moved on just because we're in a better place, right? So yes, tap, pat yourself on the back and, and, and congratulate yourself for yes. I'm going through things, through things, I'm functioning rather well, <coughs> that's all good, but also acknowledge, um, sounds weird, bad days. Also acknowledge areas where you feel like, eh, feels a bit weird, because you have the jaguar. The jaguar is telling you that you are an animal that ought to look for a vantage point, these things from a bit of a higher point of view, and don't at all exert energy where it isn't warranted. So this is about your emotions. So, overly um, trying to fix things is not necessary, right? Because the jaguar uh, is an animal with, with unique dots, which means just be yourself. Be yourself and allow what, however long it takes for you <coughs> before you feel ready for the next encounter with regards to your love life, whenever you feel ready to go for that soul retrieval that you promised yourself, whenever you feel like you should, be, should explore that past life regression, um, right? All these things that you, that you have planned or are planning in your mind um, to help you with your um, emotions and carrying sort of pain that has been there for long enough, you do this all in your own sweet time, okay? Because we have the kid fox in the middle, right? And the kid fox Number one, every fox, uh, every fox's message is that you're an old soul. So we are all old souls. We have been through all these situations before, and we will likely go through all these situations again and again and again in other lifetimes. <coughs> so what the kid fox is saying to all of us: just relax, buddy. <laughs> right? You're an old soul. You will survive. But because we're looking at the month of December, 2021, with regards to our emotions, we have the kid fox, and the kid fox literally feels boxed in because he lives in the desert. Just like animals that live in the Arctic, there's just literally less opportunities. And so the kid fox is saying, I feel a bit maybe deflated, maybe a bit like, well, not so sure where I'm going. And all the guys are saying is, well, remember we asked you not to exert major energy. And since you are an animal that is in the desert where it is super hot, running around like a headless chicken, doesn't help you either. So. What I'm hearing is, to cut a long story short, is for us to allow ourselves to just sit with whatever it is that sits there, right? Do, don't wait, but do things slowly with regards to your healing. You know, go for a session if you need to, if you feel like, yeah, I should probably have a sound he healing therapy or whatever. <clears throat> um, go for them, but go for them knowingly that this has been with you for quite some time and it may take quite some time before you feel 
fully recharged and fully capable of taking the next step with regards to your emotions. The good thing is also we have the outgoing energy as the sparrow hawk. And the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So what that means is just go with the flow. Don't rush anything, don't force anything. Go with the flow and literally acknowledge that just because you have gone through a lot of pain doesn't mean it will stay there forever. It's just for now, in December, <coughs> it still feels a bit heavy, right? That was that. Let's go for the final part of the reading, which is obviously opportunities as they come your way, and we'll see what the guys have to say about it. Oops. <laughs> wow. Right, when cards fall out, they want to be read, and we have tons. I mean, don't we know? We have more than usual. So, what we have is the Dancer of Promise. We have the Dancer of Beginnings, and we have the Hunter of Mysteries, and then the card that I saw in the deck is the Ancestor of Protection. So we look at this first. Sorry, it's just, you know, I haven't worked with this before. That set up before. Here you have the ancestor of protection. The first thing the guys are saying to you is regards to opportunities. Whatever comes your way, just trust it. Really, really important to trust your intuition, which means if you feel, should I look at this area or should I look at this area, um, your intuition will tell you immediately um, where not to go. So trust your intuition. Right? And I don't mean necessarily in the sense that you know if something feels too good, it might be, which is true too. But, you know, trust your intuition. You, 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 you do understand innately what is for you and what isn't. And all the guys are saying is, well, you know, you are fully protected right now. Um, but trust your intuition, right? You have the dancer of promise, the dancer of beginnings, the hunter of mysteries. Dancer of beginnings is in the middle. So that becomes the most important because it is surrounded by the other two. The dancer of promise means that you start anything with regards to opportunities regarding what sustains you financially <coughs> or how you live your life and how money comes in that sustains you, you have the dancer of promise. So, in order for anything to work, you have to promise yourself to, mm, sounds wrong, it's just the way I get it, I get it, stick with it. Right? Don't go and say like, okay, I'm protected now, great, I'm going to do this for 10 minutes, going to do this for a day. Um, that's not what this is about. Promise yourself to look at things for what they are and then no matter what you do, be committed. Right? Be committed to the new beginning. Be committed to, um, because there's nothing that I'm getting, is I'm getting a toolbox and there could be more in it. So maybe that's the time uh, for us Pisceans uh, or for you out there, whoever res this resonates with, is um, Maybe to continue studying, get a bigger toolbox, be more um, uh, more equipped to deal with situations, and you might be the only one that is in your uh, surroundings that could also work for you. What you have in the middle, which is the most important, the dancer of beginnings. <coughs> so, this is about reflecting where you are at, and the dancer of beginnings is literally telling you, you could do with a change. Um, and while they're not necessarily telling me whether or not it is a completely new thing, you have the dancer of beginnings. Something's got to give, right? And um, therefore, it's important uh, for yourself to say, like, yeah, well, maybe let's just reflect on it. If I'm really not happy, right, then maybe I should start thinking about and therefore manifesting changes. You have the hunter of mysteries, <coughs> which is probably why this is energetically speaking a tad difficult. Because the hunter of mysteries means that what you're looking for is something you haven't quite experienced yet. You're looking for something, sounds weird, <coughs> uh, maybe not entirely different, but something where you feel like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not fulfilled here enough. I'm not 100% me. And so you have the hunter of mysteries, which means you're not quite sure where you're going. And also, you want something to <laughs> hit you by surprise. And all the guides are saying is that oh, that's all well and good, but your real job is to be fully committed. And the way this works is, and this, we're coming back to the dance of beginnings here, is to realize that everything, and I think this is more catered to people, you know, 
30 and onwards that part here because it feels to me that your life experiences um, are also super important to integrate into who you are so you know I've done that not, that's not what I'm going to do anymore um, that's what I always wanted to do so it's a bit about reflecting <coughs> and manifesting properly but the hunter of mysteries as the outgoing energy literally tells you that it is very hard for you to to see where you're going so don't plan for I need this specific thing otherwise I'm not happy right that's another really important thing for Pisceans not to follow someone else's dreams and don't think just because this looks great um, it's the best thing since sliced bread right feel where you are at in life um, and allow yourself because you have the hand of mysteries is the outgoing energy allow yourself to realize you may not see everything it's also important to realize that we come, obviously we come from the stars and in from from mid-September to mid-April um, because the Milky Way obviously moves, our whole galaxy moves <coughs> and in the winter months the the shiny center of our universe is slightly obstructed and so star signs born between mid-September and mid-April some lose track of where they are so we are born in that time frame we are born uh, you know we're one of the seven star signs that are actually born in that area or in that time frame and all that means for us is all we really have and something that always works for us um, is our intuition so everything you do with regards to changing your job changing whatever it is um, sustain you financially or maybe adding something to your toolbox so you so you can diversify yourself starts with your intuition trust everything you feel right guys thank you so much that was the uh, the um, general reading for the month of 2021 for the star sign of Pisces See you all in the new year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.